Aloha and welcome to Hula Preservation Society's Digital Umeke. HPS has conducted oral history interviews with Hula elders for over 20 years. Digital Umeke is our virtual collections website featuring select materials of elder collections from our archive. This tutorial is a brief overview on navigating and accessing materials in the Queenie Ventura Dowsett collection. Upon visiting Digital Umeke, images of some elders we have worked with are displayed at the top. These remarkable people lived through dramatically changing times in 20th century Hawaii. Their lives in Hula have helped to preserve, perpetuate, and cultivate Hawaiian culture and life ways. There are a handful of tabs at the very top that can help you use and navigate this site. Scrolling down the page allows you to access areas by featured content and by category. Let's take a look at the collection for Antiquini Ventura Dowsett. Click on the top tab titled Collections. This is Hula Elder Queenie Ventura Dowsett. Born in 1930 on the island of Oahu, her mama Sophie, who was a hula master, instilled in her eldest child a passion and deep love for hula. Auntie Queenie was the first official oral history HPS conducted in the year 2000, and it has been a joyous and aloha-filled adventure. You can learn more about Auntie Queenie and her incredible life through this virtual collection. All of our oral history kupuna have a featured photo with a short summary at the top of their collection page. Below this is a brief section providing insight into how HPS met this elder and what it was like to spend time with them. Auntie Queenie, Uncle George Naope, and Auntie Nona Beamer were the anchors for many of HBS's public programs in the early 2000s, and they were each so generous with their time and energies, making themselves available to the public to talk story, answer questions, and of course, perform. To see the items available in Auntie's virtual collection, scroll down. These records contain photos, interview transcripts, edited video, finding aids, and footage lists to assist you in your research and learning. Let's take a look at Auntie Queenie's person record. Here we have some basic biographical info about Auntie. The newspaper image is from her career as a popular and sought after solo dancer. Let's go back to Auntie's main collection page. Another type of record you can use to learn more about Auntie is a digital heritage item record. Let's take a look at this special short piece produced by filmmaker Anne-Marie Kirk, based on the footage from that very first oral history with Auntie in 2000. It was always important to Auntie Queenie to honor her primary teacher and mentor, Iolani Luahine, whom she speaks about in this short piece. A viewing carousel with available materials for this panel discussion is displayed at the top of the record. You can watch the entire recorded panel program if you click here. Let's take a peek. So we did the basic. She was there on her. And we did it all. And she did a very short aloha. She said, I want you to watch, all of you, you watch me. When she was Powell, she said to us, okay, I want all of you to get up and you dance it now. And we all danced it. And she smiled. She smiled. And she said, okay, you just sit there. And she went outside and told everybody they can go home. Oh, <laughs> she knew. And we were her dancers. That you were her dancers. Yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah. And that's the mm -hmm. way we started. Mm -hmm. And that was an incredible moment for me. My mom comes back and I told her, oh, mom, I think she's, I think she's a spirit. <laughs> mom says to me, she says, you think she's a spirit? I said, yeah. She, she had me in a trance. She literally had me in a trance, mom. I said, in fact, all of us, there wasn't a smile on our face when she was doing I know that. I watch. I looked at side to side, and when we finally stood up and danced, and we all danced it. I just, she's, she's a spirit mom. Spirit. Mm -hmm. My mom just looked at me and she smiled. 
There is a transcript of the film if you would like to read the conversation along with the video or without the video. Depending on your system and browser, the transcript may automatically download or the PDF may open up in another window. Most browsers will open the PDF in a browser window. You can search the entire transcript for specific words, names, or places by using the browser's built-in search function. For example, we can search the word trance. We end up on the full paragraph of the story we just heard in the video clip. Let's try another such search. We see Oli comes up twice in this passage when Auntie shared how they went to Bishop Museum after the audition with Iolani Luahine to share the good news with Mary Kavena Bukui. Some browsers automatically download a PDF and do not open in a web browser like this. Locate the downloaded PDF on your computer, open the file, and use Adobe's built-in search feature to look for key terms. Let's return now to the record for this short film. You can also look at photos taken during that first interview with Auntie Queenie. To scroll in the carousel, you can simply click on the next thumbnail to see what else is included. Lastly, a research tool called a finding aid is also available. We do not currently have one here for this short film, so we'll navigate to one of Auntie Queenie's oral history records to open one. A finding aid can help you narrow down areas of interest before doing more in-depth research. Just like the transcript files, a PDF will either display in your browser window or automatically download. You can look at the finding aid to get a real feel for terms and content as they occurred in the conversation. You can readily identify a finding aid in the carousel because it is green. Transcripts are orange. Just like the transcript files, a PDF will either display in your browser window or automatically download. You can look at the finding aid to get a real feel for terms and content as they occurred in the conversation. Additional information for this short film can be found in the right-hand column of the page and at the bottom of the page. As we saw earlier, there are digital heritage item records for the oral history interviews HBS conducted with Auntie Queenie. These are distinguishable from other records as they are labeled with Auntie Queenie's name followed by the date of the interview. These records may also contain downloadable PDF transcripts and finding aids to assist in your research, along with photos taken by HPS during the interviews. The last kind of research tool you may find in an elder's collection is a footage list. Let's take a look at Antiquini's. This list is a PDF and again may open in your web browser or automatically download. Footage lists are colored blue. This listing offers details on HPS footage we have relating to Auntie Queenie in the archive. You'll find a lot of resources here because Auntie was so giving of her time for many years through HPS. Most of these resources are not available online, so please feel free to contact us about something in particular. Let's return to the short film and see a little of Auntie Queenie's magical hula from an HPS panel at the Mauna Lani Hotel's monthly Twilight at Kalahui Pua'a program in 2005. We invite you to explore the collection of this Queen of Hula Auntie Queenie Ventura Dowsett. We hope you enjoy learning more about these treasured elders through their collections on digital umeke. If you need help with your research, have questions, or would like to inquire about other materials, please go to Research Inquiries at the top of the page. You will be taken to our HPS Archive page where you can access our Archive Inquiry form. Mahalo for joining us. We can be reached at archive at hulapreservation.org. Malamapono!